Okay, so, so I, I work for NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, uh, but I'm going to talk about uh, you know, a particular project we're working on for Department of Homeland Security for the uh, next generation first responders. So I guess I use this. Go to the next slide. All right, okay. So, so at, at NASA, I'm pretty sure you guys uh, have seen the, uh, uh, there's no point. Uh, right. So, is it pointed? Uh, anyhow, you, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the Mars rover that we built at, G, uh, at NASA JPL, uh, and so we have these, uh, you know, several of these on, on Mars. Uh, and uh, the reason we can do that on Mars is because uh, we pretty much, before we send the rover there, we pretty much map uh, the entire Mar Mars out. Right? We have spacecraft which does survey missions, so we know exactly what we're going to see on Mars. So these rovers are very, very good in exploring Mars. Uh, looking at you know rocks, looking at uh, signs, and uh, go around rock, determine to go uh, on, on top of that. Uh, so, so, so we're very good at that uh, because we pretty much know what to do. But uh, if you put a, a dog in front of a rover, a rover won't know what to do because rovers never taught about dog. Right? They just know what to do on Mars. So, but but we are going to at, at JPL. We're going to uh, Europa. Right? That's our you know, one of the mission that we're trying to trying to build. And for the Europa mission, uh, we're, we're going to fly a spacecraft uh, to uh, to this um, uh, you know uh, you know uh, uh, you know Europa, and then uh, um, it, the spacecraft is going to land on Europa, and it's, it's going to drill through a kilometer of ice, and then the spacecraft is going to turn into a submarine and swim around the ocean under the ice. So with that, you know, we have really, really have no idea what's under the ice. You know, there could be you know dinosaurs swimming in the in the ocean. We really have no idea. So so the, so the previous way of building things, uh, building you know autonomous system based on what we already know, it just simply doesn't work. So 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 started about six years ago. We started looking at uh, you know, how do we um, you know how do we actually build a system which uh, we, we hope to ha have like human kind of intelligence. We call it, you know, scientists in a box. How do we put scientists in, in a box so we can explore, um, you know, Europa? Um, Ah, okay, so I have to stand here. All right, so 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 we 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 work on a system called Audrey. Um, you guys can read the name. Um, it's a you know bio-inspired model, uh, but basically it's a system. All right, so we have to use multiple different technologies. It's really based on hybrid uh, technology. We we do uh, you know uh, some of the symbolic processing. We do some of the, uh, uh, the the neural processing, but we use a variety of different technology to to make this work. So 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 deep learning is part of the system, but we cover. Uh, a lot more than that, um, and for for the, for this kind of exploration, um, you know, we you know there's a lot of knowledge out there, so we want to leverage on human intelligence, uh, so we can actually uh, um, you know to achieve better intelligence because machines are simply not as smart as humans. So we really want to leverage on human intelligence, uh, and we want to have capability where we can do uh, reading and learning at the same time. You know, a lot of the uh, the, the you know learning system today you have to kind of train it first and then you can use it for reasoning we, we, you know for, for for us to explore in real time environment we need to be able to reason and learn at the same time uh, we need to be, be able to deal with missing or contradictory data uh, you know that in, in in real life environment that happens all the time all right uh, we need to be able to synthesize workflow so we can solve problems uh, when we get some because we need to figure out what to do uh, and also we need to uh, learn from uh, um, you know, community uh, of uh, of Audrey Note, right? So, so this is kind of like the very high level architecture of our system. Um, you know, the, the the yellow box there, you can see some of the components in in the Audrey system um, that we have. Um, you know, of course, we have natural language understanding software, we have intent based natural language understanding software. Um, you know, we have a human like reasoner, uh, which uh, you know, think and reason like uh, like human. Um, you know, because we deal with many of the unknown uh, uh, environments, so we have some single hep uh, hypothetical scenario generator look, uh, help us to look at multiple different hy hypotheses uh, so we can explore different um, conditions. Right? Uh, and then we have workflow synthesis uh, and interface variety of uh, different data. So we can interface to, to lots and lots of you know, data types out there. We, we apply this uh, system not just for Homeland Security, but also for other, um, other you know, uh, applications for, the, for DOD and, and NASA. Um, you know, our, our system uh, can interface with users through, uh, uh, um, you know, through, through different kind of natural language understanding software. Our system can also use a bunch of tools, uh, mathematical tools and other tools to build up solution set. 
uh, and also we're working on getting um, getting these Audrey agents talking to other Audrey uh, agents, uh, a collaboration between Audrey. So, so currently we have about you know 1.5 million lines of coding in our core software, um, you know, which compose a multiple JPL uh, you know AI software over the, over the years. Um, you know, and uh, our, our core, you know, in, in, in the middle is the back end system we call Cortex. Um, it's all based on open source uh, uh, code. Um, so uh, this is this this just show a little bit, uh, you know, standard kind of kind of uh, implementation nowadays. Uh, we in the in the core of the Audrey system is a big Titan um, hypergraph. Uh, the, uh, database, uh, you know, Cassandra, Elastic, typical things, and all the services are doc Dockerized. Um, you know, so so um, we have this uh, uh, simple version of, uh, of um, uh, Audrey running in the JPL cloud today. So 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 when we make uh, this kind of uh, uh, um, um, you know de uh, de 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 uh, decision, um, you know, we, we we start from from basically we have the. Uh, um, you know, Audrey, think of the Audrey as the overall controller, all right? Audrey is the overall controller, um, you know, when we, for example, you know, like in the firefighting situation, right? You know, when 911 call come in, um, then, then, then Audrey, uh, you know, well, you know, once we initiate uh, the, 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 the incident, then Audrey will switch to the, uh, the planning uh, context, and based on planning context, Audrey has a number of goals uh, Audrey wants to accomplish. For example, you know, we, we, do, uh, we do route planning. How do we get the fire truck to a location? Uh, we do uh, resource planning. Uh, we look at, look at the, uh, uh, the information, available information of a particular site. Are we going to a factory? Are we going to a house? You know, what, what do they have uh, over there? And then we do resource planning. Are we going to some place with a special medical need? Uh, should, should we bring special medical equipment uh, with EMT? Or, or do we need to have hazmat uh, deployed? Um, you know, so, so we do a lot of those kind of, those kind of, kind of, kind of planning, and when the first responder arrive, you know, we do, um, uh, um, you know, we do uh, communication resource planning, security planning, because all different uh, uh, um, agencies need to, work, need to work together. And then when firefighters go into the, the site or go into a room, then we start to switch to different contexts in terms of firefighting. A context and there are other set of goals and that need to need to be accomplished. So basically, there's a different different sets of contexts that we we learn from from a part the human knowledge and then we put that into the system. Um, and and our system, you know, uh, use 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 a lot of uh, deep neural net for for a front end uh, understanding of uh, of uh, signal from sensors and uh, signal from. Uh, um, uh, single uh, uh, from uh, uh, you know, for example, video and other other uh, sources uh, sources uh, information. Um, you know, some we, we have to work with very uh, difficult uh, data. For example, in in the firefighting situation, uh, video may not be very useful. You know, it's a lot of smoke. If you're being too real fire situation, it's a lot of smoke. It's very difficult to see. So we need to fuse multiple different sensors. Uh, together um, and then uh, and then uh, in, in our system we, we have uh, different levels of hierarchy at the lowest level uh, we, we, we use a lot of deep neural net uh, at the highest level we actually use a lot of symbolic uh, reasoning uh, we use term logic uh, type of reasoning so so uh, based on based on these uh, when we see something we start to uh, to build up you know multiple different uh, based on a priority no, uh, no knowledge, we start building up multiple different hypotheses all right, on what are the possible conditions, and then we have the hypothetical scenario generation help us to eliminate, uh, based on the particular context of the event, we start to eliminate a lot of the, uh, the, the unlikely, start to rank the different hypotheses, um, and then your working memory, then our attention focus, um, you know, human-like reasoning system help us to start to look at this particular, um, you know, particular condition and try to reason uh, across, uh, trying to understand what we're doing. For example, you know, like in our knowledge, most likely we won't have, uh, uh, if, if, if firefighters go into a room and firefighters see a propane tank and then there's fire burning here, um, you know, most likely in our, in our knowledge base, we won't know, uh, we don't have knowledge that propane tank and fire. Well, after a while, you'll learn that. But, but, but initially, we don't have that. We may have something which says volatile gas and then high temperature, right? So how do we make that correlation? So, so through these, these process, we can actually find the pattern and find the pattern matches, and then we, we, can, uh, we can help the reason across and, and make that, that connection. Um, you know, and then, and then ba based on that, we, we start to, uh, uh, to go through our, our modeling and planning process, and uh, we start generating action. A lot of times, 
if, for example, when we, uh, when firefighters see, uh, uh, see um, you know, something look like an uh, uh, R, in, in smoke, it's very difficult to, to see things. Uh, when you see something look like an R, uh, then, then, um, uh, then our system will start to guide uh, you know, to start look for other things, right? Because they, uh, um, you know, the things uh, the system understand. When you see your arm, look at so whether there's a, there's a person, right? When you see a mask, do you see a, a helmet? Do you see, a, um, you know, a, 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 you know, PPEs, and to uh, to do that reasoning. So basically, it goes through this whole process of, of acquiring you know, additional evidence, to help us to uh, to make uh, this uh, decision. So so basically. And when we make decisions, we actually do a lot of, uh, you know, dynamic, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, generating workflow help us to to, uh, to generate uh, different results. So basically, the, the whole process, um, you know, kind of work iteratively and also it work uh, collaboratively because we, uh, when we initially when we do the planning context, um, you know, our system uh, actually, uh, you know, generate uh, an overall frame, uh, and then uh, the frame actually get, you know, so when firefighters arrive, or first responders arrive, we actually start to, to uh, propagate the frame, and so they all have the same context, so they can map, map locations, and so on. This, this is a pro part of a bigger project. There are other things working on indoor locations, and, and so on. So basically, those are all part of what, what we do. So all, so all this information get, get fused together, uh, using this uh, mechanism to achieve what we call aware, uh, uh, understand the situation. So, so uh, uh, talk about, you know, when we, when we do, um, uh, since this, is, this conference seems to be more, in, more interesting in, the, in, um, in some of the, the, the deep neural net kind of stuff. So, so for us, when we, when we do, uh, um, you know, a, you know a, a feature recognition, um, you know, a lot of time uh, in smoke, you don't see the whole thing, right? Uh, uh, and you may see, see features. So, so instead of trying to, trying to recognize uh, uh, target. We, we do that, but we're still trying to recognize target. Very often, we start to look at uh, individual features and, and use 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 reasoning trying to derive and use uh, reasoning trying to acquire additional knowledge, uh, additional evidence on whether something is, tr is true or not. <clears throat> so, so, so with this, we actually demonstrate very successful. We we uh, we can actually you know, uh, detect and track uh, and uh, detect reason and track object in, in very very you know, you know difficult kind of kind of environment by by, by looking at feature and combined with reasoning. Um, same thing with with, uh, with firefighting. Uh, firefighting, we look at uh, different features. So, for example, I, I talk about propane tank. You know, when we see see that uh, object, we actually look for features, look for, for, uh, for, for texture, material, color, and use different features and try to reason um, you know, on things that I've never seen before. Um, so, so, so overall, <clears throat> um, a couple of minutes, so, so overall, um, you know, we, 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 we're putting together um, you know, um, 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 an AI agent that help us to collect data, um, you know, look, look for all the Internet of Things sensor data, uh, analyze um, you know, the, the contextual information and synthesize, uh, and then deliver insight uh, to, to first uh, re responders. Um, you know, for us, because first responders, especially um, you know, uh, you know, firefighters, you know, most of the time they say, "Don't bother me. Don't tell me unless you know I'm, I'm going to die or something." So, so, so we, we look at you know, we understand user, understand their training, look at their preference, and based on that, our agent decide what to send to them or what not to send to them. Uh, we, we, um, we, we fuse variety of different information together. We have a lot of um, you know, a body worn sensor that we're putting on the next generation first responder, uh, personal protective equipment. Um, you know, we have 911 call center data um, you know, that we know exactly the location. You know, all the call related information. We may have multiple calls coming related to the same thing. We look at all the Internet of Things sensors. In the house, there's a lot more smart sensor. Um, and not even on the street, there's a lot of sensor. We look at video camera of the particular site and we do video analytic, uh, looking for, for, for target um, you know, object. And we look at some of the social media information. Uh, we also do, um, uh, um, you know, we, 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 um, uh, back in April we did a demonstration in San Diego at the first responder meeting. Uh, basically we built an Audrey plugin for something called ATAC. I'm not sure whether you're familiar. It's, a, it's kind of common to lots of uh, military, police, and uh, uh, FBI, you know, first responder. They use this kind of common geospatial uh, information tools. So we build a plugin for that, plug into an Android uh, cell phone. Uh, and this system talked to, uh, um, talk to, uh, um, you know, Audrey uh, in the cloud. So basically, we have uh, we have uh, you know Audrey agent building in, into the cloud. Uh, so your cell phone Audrey plug-in talk to the Audrey in the cloud. So each firefighter, 
you know, has the Audrey watching over them. Look at the, all the related information, and then we have uh, Audrey which fuse this information together, help them to make uh, decision. We look at sensor, look at a variety of different, uh, different information. Uh, and um, so basically, you know, um, you know, this is the, the overall picture of the, the project we're working on, um, you know, on the, with the you know, personal protective equipment with, with variety of different dynamic network, uh, all adapt, um, you know, mobile aircraft network all connect together, you know, LTE band class 14, and also we do uh, all the sensor fusion um, and provide uh, basic information to the firefighter, um, you know, based on who you are, you know, where you are, what do you need, what do you want to see, and only provide relevant information to them. So that's basically my talk. Any questions?